Hello, my name is Nicole, and today I wanted to talk to some of you all about this business of uh, superstition, because I'll tell you that growing up, there was a lot of superstitious things that were taking place. Um, you know, things like don't split the pole when you're walking and um, being nervous about the number 13, and some people were so um, fearful of it that they didn't go to work on that day, or they didn't, you know, drive, things of that um, sort and then there were also superstitious uh, types of um, phrases and and things that were done to basically bind you spiritually and um, so growing up I saw these things and I was scolded if I you know did things like walk under a ladder um, or break a mirror you know so you get all of this stuff if you will put in your mind and then when God takes over he's got to get rid of all of this stuff he's got to come in there and clean house and some some people have to even go so far as to study to find out if what they have been doing all these years is truthful because just telling them that what they're doing is um, of the occult or evil or um, is uh just not what God wants isn't enough. So if you feel like people around you are not giving you enough insight as to why you need to stop doing certain things, that's when you have to go and study yourself. You have to answer questions for yourself. You have to figure out, okay, what's going on with me? Um, why is it that I feel the way I feel? Um, where did this come from? Uh, why is it that uh, people even started this whole thing of, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you fill in the blank. So I wanted to share some information that will hopefully help you out. First of all, we've got to deal with fear because when you're going through this whole process of change, um, walking with the Lord, one of the things that you find yourself doing is feeling fearful of things feeling like if you say this if you look at this if you read this if you study this if you go against tradition and tell people that you're no longer subscribing to this belief or that one um, what's going to happen and so this fear creeps up out of nowhere and then there's the fear of if you do walk under that ladder or if you do bro break the mirror or if you do drive you know on Friday the 13th or if you, you know all of this stuff has to be has to be bound you know it has to be binded up because it's spiritually binding and it doesn't um, help you go to the next level with the Lord you know there's different there's different things that he brings to our attention over a course of time depending on where you are spiritually what you're willing to receive how close to the Lord you are and sometimes you actually hinder your walk with the Lord because you're still holding on to superstitious activity. The first thing I would also recommend is that you go and look up those um, some of those things that um, you just find that there is some truth to them, but you actually need to pray and um fast and meditate and do some things to get the full story if you will not just a part of the story but the full story as to what's going on and and so then if you got the full story then you can sleep better at night because you know okay now I know that this is nothing more than just a piece of a story that was actually exaggerated by my aunt or by my cousin or my grandmother or something okay that also that type of uh, study will also give you peace of mind too. look up what you already know and then put the facts you know put the facts together okay now all of this that I'm talking about is to release people from superstition, to release people from the occult, the binding things um, that just put you in that place where you're just like, why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? There has been something that has been going on in the spiritual realm for some time now. I can tell you when I awoke to uh, the lies 
or these societal lies, these stories that have been given to us for umpteen years about one issue or another, when I decided to go on this journey of seeking truth for myself and not through the middleman, um, that was in 2009. And when I was doing research, you know, to ban all of this traditional superstitious stuff, I found that a lot of the videos, a lot of the articles that I was looking at, they were written in 2009. So I guess 2009 really woke, awoke a lot of people, a lot of people who had been sleeping. God was using his people to wake people up and prepare us for the next level spiritually. So for those of us who were willing to receive, like you all are today, going on different websites, trying to find information about all sorts of subject matter to release you, there were people that were going through that whole process. Um, and, and they still are, and God is still using people to just wake folks up. So as you're getting awakened to truth, um, you are, your job is to go and spread truth, you know, and all of it is supposed to lead us to Jesus. That's the, that's the point. You know, you go out here, you uncover some lies, you tell some people, but at the bottom of your article or somewhere in your audio, you should be talking about, okay. Now, let's get serious. Let's talk about the Lord. Let's talk about Jesus. Let's talk about eternal life or something that will uh, cause people to want to read their Bible, cause them to want to pray, cause them to want to lift their hands up and praise the Lord. Just something, because that's how you're going to get your relationship on that on the righteous path with the Lord is you've got to be open You've you've got to tap in, if you will, into the spiritual realm. You've got to hear what the Lord is saying. You also have to talk to him about things that um, about spiritual things. Talk to him about the angels. Find out, um, you know, what is their role and how are you to, um, you know, uh, pray the type of prayers that, um, you know, will activate. Um, you know, God's angels to work on your behalf because we all have them and they're just waiting. They're waiting. Okay, Lord, um, you said that this is one of yours. So what is it that we should be doing? So there's a lot of things that's going on in the spiritual realm. But if you're not willing to take that step, if you're not willing to draw near, if you're not willing to um, read the scriptures and um, look up all of the false facts um um, else, you know, on the internet, um, that you were taught over the years and seek that truth in, well, um, you're just not going to move up to the next level. And there's so many people that's just sitting there in church pews and they're not, they're not getting any information, but what the minister tells them. And a lot of times the information is not, not, uh, on time. It's not what, um, they really need at that moment. They needed to find out more about, okay, I'm going through a particular trial in my life. I'm bound by superstition. I'm bound by a lot of things, and I just need um, somebody to break that. Well, a lot of churches aren't even going that deep. They're still talking about uh, <laughs> Genesis and in the beginning, and they're, they're still, you know, reading uh, those uh, biblical stories that, you heard back when you were a child at some point you got to spiritually mature so there's some things in the bible that god will show you and you'll find that those are the things that is is that that's the reason why things are going the way they're going that's the reason why certain traditions um take place because people take a little bit of scripture and then they end up running with it or they get around people who twist scripture and then they run with it. And the next thing you know, you got a bunch of lies here, there, and everywhere. So when you feel fearful, fearful of what's ahead, fearful of breaking traditions, then you've got to go to the scriptures that talk about fear. And you're going to have to bind fear in Jesus' name. And how do you do that? Well, start reading those scriptures out loud and start praying those scriptures back to the Lord. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So you go to the Lord and you say, Lord Jesus, I ask right now that you just bind that spirit of fear that's within me, 
that is so nervous about breaking old traditions and um, breaking superstitions and things of that sort. I just ask, Lord, that you um, just allow your power to come upon me, um, your love, your um, and give me a sound mind so that I can be able to live my life in peace in Jesus' name. So that's an example of taking a scripture and praying it back to the Lord. Another scripture um, dealing with fear, and this one talks about the angels. Psalm 91, verses 10 and 11. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And I'm breaking spirits in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. De demonic spirits, occult spirits. This day, for the listener, in Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's want to get free. Go to Psalm 91. Read it. Study it. Um, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And I just pray in Jesus' name, Lord, that you just use your angels over this listener, Lord. Just use your angels over this li listener. And may your angels keep this person under your wing in Jesus name and may no evil come upon this person and may no plague come upon their dwelling and that for all those plans of the enemy we bind them up in Jesus name and we ask Lord that you loose 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 this person who is bound spiritually and mentally by cold activity and superstitious thoughts we ask these things in Jesus' name. And that's the kind of thing that we have to do. We've got to just pray, pray, and pray some more. Pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, our brothers and sisters trying to get out. I think of a young woman who saying she was trying to get out, trying to get out. Because, see, we get ourselves caught up in some things. Over the years, you... You know, people catch you at weak moments and they tell you, oh, we'll try this or look at this or pray with me about this. And you're thinking, oh, OK, it's all spiritual. It all means the same thing. God is good. And you find out later on that you've got some type of monkey on your back. And it's not God. It's some other monkey. And it's and it's whispering all sorts of things and giving you all sorts of ridiculous visions and has you up late at night and you're chanting and doing all sorts of things. And then you find out that all that time, what you thought was, you know, godly was in fact some other spirit, some, some type of demonic force that was working with you. So we just have to bind those things up in Jesus name that every person that touched you over the years, because see, there's witches and warlocks and wizards in churches. And, you know, you get these people touching your shoulder, touching your back, touching your head. You don't know what they're putting on you if they're not of the Lord and that's where you need that spiritual gift of discernment and the Lord I just ask that every listener receive that spirit of discernment I received it back oh in my early 20s because one wild area seemed like every time I looked up somebody was putting their hands on me you know praying for me and that was fine but then I got to a place where I'm like but who's who and Lord I, I need to know because I don't want everybody putting their hands. And so one wild air, the Lord was speaking to me and he told me, don't allow people to put their hands on your head. Because at that point, I realized I had finally arrived. I had finally arrived. I didn't need anybody to touch me on my head anymore. My, if, if Some people got all sorts of names for it. But basically, the I was right where I needed to be spiritually. I was right where I needed to be. The breakthrough had happened. Activation, if you will, happened. Spiritual energy overflow happened. I didn't need anybody to tap on my head, pray on my head, anoint my head with oil anymore. You know. <laughs> so the Lord said, no, don't allow them to touch your head. Don't allow them to touch your head. And so then there came a point where I had went backward in the spiritual um, realm and instead of going forward with the Lord I started going backward with the devil what ended up happening was um, I needed to get back under um, serious leadership that was sold out for the Lord and that's what happened I ended up going um, well actually the Lord had used someone to talk to me about getting around these uh, women of the Lord and I did and there was a breakthrough another spiritual breakthrough if you will um, that got me to that place where I said, uh-oh, I've got to 
I've got to take God at his word. I've got to shake some stuff off. And um, so there was a release that took place. And ever since that release took place, I've been talking to people um, about the Lord again and getting into the word. Not everything is fixed yet. Because, see, sometimes we come to the Lord and we ded rededicate our lives to Christ in the midst of sin. And so everything is not all aligned up yet. But God told me it's a process and that the cleansing is taking place. And all I have to do is continue to trust in him to stand. And that's what I'm doing. And sometimes what we do is that once we feel that we're right where we're supposed to be, we start wanting to, you know, uh, just rip things up and tear things away and run away and we, we just want to do a major house cleaning on everything but we have to it's a process we have to we have to really just just uh, walk with the Lord through that whole process so but I have to tell you um, back in the day there was the cards you know the wicked cards I had there was the um what do you call it? The, um, you know, astrology books. Um, Jean Dixon, as far as I was concerned back then, she was a, like a friend. Um, it was it was ridiculous. This the amount of stuff over those years that um, I had uh, accumulated. And then with every move, God just told me, OK, this book has to go. This has to be gone. Nope, you won't be using those anymore. And he was loving and he was kind to me. Now, some people who called themselves messengers of the Lord, they weren't. They were they were evil about their things. They were self-righteous about the things they were telling me. And so when I look back, it's interesting how God will take even the worst <laughs> of his um, group and somehow will still get the message. Um, so anyway, that's just a little bit about me some more information about me because some people just don't trust anybody and you should be that way you should you should guard your heart and allow the Lord to slowly but surely put the right people around you to speak to you about the issues that's going on now something else that I wanted to talk about is this shift so those of us who were asleep now we're awakened to truths in all sorts of forms and we're trying to bring our brothers and sisters up. We're, we're trying to help family members and friends. We're trying to tell them that this isn't good. That's not right. You shouldn't be eating this. Did you know about this particular athlete? Did you know about some of the fixing that goes on in sports? Did you know about um, some of the uh, American traditions that are not Christian? Did you know about these secret societies? Did you know? Uh, and you're doing a lot of that. Let me tell you that as you're the more you're doing it, yeah, you're going to be hit with opposition on all sides. Some of you all are already going through that. But be assured that you're sowing the seeds, you're sowing the seeds, and good things are going to happen. Okay, be assured of that. Know that you know that you know. Okay, because sometimes we get so upset and we say, Oh no, I can't believe this. You know, I tried and now there it seems like they're watching more of it or it seems like they're buying more of it. That it's just a process. It's just a process. You just keep praying. You ask the Lord, Lord, we just ask in Jesus' name, Lord, for the list that that the that you will just move on this listener, um, to just still uh trust in you and um be of good courage, um, concerning spreading truth in all its forms. And to not let the enemy cause any problems um, in their life as a result. That you will keep them alive and well and fit and mentally healthy um, in Jesus' name. And that, that's, once again, you know, just pray and pray. And every time you see opposition is coming up, pray, pray. Um, pray that the Lord covers the truth that you're giving these people. Um, pray that the seeds will uh, eventually blossom into fruit um you know it's it's just a lot of things that we have to keep praying about but the prayers work it seems like they don't at first it seems like that's just too simple you know you pray for me over an audio and then oh this is going to happen that's going to happen mm -hmm. yep yep it's going to happen things are going to happen things are going to happen and you're going to pray and 
Next thing you know, you're going to start seeing some things happening with those people who have been fighting you about the truth and didn't want to listen, didn't have time. And you're so crazy and you're so this. It may not happen in a day. It may not happen in a week. It may not happen in a month. It may not happen in a year. But eventually it's going to happen and they're going to come to you and they're going to act like <laughs> they discovered some truth. When in all actuality, you have sowed the seed because God used you to sow the seed in their hearts, their minds, and their spirits. We've got all sorts of believers working in all sorts of departments. you got people that's coming across the uh, you know, um, internet that their job is to just bombard you over and over again with scriptures. Because some people just need scriptures. It's alive, it's well, it's active. Other people's jobs is to bombard you with what the government is up to. Other people's jobs is to bombard you with what the entertainment industry is up to, what the medical industry is, what, what's going on with publishing. Um, you know, this. I mean, it goes on and on and on. God has his people everywhere. So while you got these secret societies talking about we own this and we own that and we got this person, we got that one. And they've got all their symbols and signs everywhere and they got their little handshakes and um, they've got their favor here and there. Well, we've got God's favor. We're children of light. And we didn't have to pledge any oaths. And we didn't have to do any blood sacrifices. And we didn't have to uh, put our resumes out with this particular group. And, you know, as my grandmother used to say, kiss this one and that one's, you know what? They try to get ahead. Mm -mm. We don't have to do all of that. Because when you walk with the Lord, you just let that light shine. And the next thing you know, <laughs> Somebody's doing something for you. They're helping you out. So don't be concerned about all of the, the superstitious stuff. Just focus on your relationship with the Lord. Yes, look up the information that you need, but don't get so caught up in it that you lose sight of Jesus. Because Jesus wants us to know the truth in all its forms, but he doesn't want us to go back to the way things used to be. And it's very easy for some people to start reading this article and that article and listening to this person, and that person. And the next thing you know, they're back into it again. They're back into their superstition, um, superstitious thoughts. And then they're back into uh, chanting, you know, with the demons and they're, you know, going off into some other dark place and doing some other thing that you know has sparked some curiosity in jesus name the lord is speaking right now so when i go off into speaking in tongues i'm not cursing nobody i just want you to know that but the lord is um coming through with a specific word for some listeners so I just gotta go I gotta go there with uh, someone in terms of telling you that you you are still into your witchcraft and you have been walking with Christians you've been talking to Christians but you're still into your witchcraft the Lord says that you cannot play him you cannot play him you cannot go around here and put scriptures out here and then at the same time you've got your chance and you've got your crystals and you have your uh, elves I see elves people got their houses decorated with elves um, and the Lord also is showing me some type of a triangular looking thing that um, is black in color and is shiny it's almost like a metallic looking I don't know some type of onyx looking finish um, these types of things are the things that are keeping you from drawing closer to the Lord because he's moved on your spirit to get rid of them and you're not ready. But the Lord is saying that now is the time. Now is the time because he wants to do some things in you right where you sit, right where you sit. So you've got to start cleaning up, you know, it's cry it out, fight it out, do whatever it is that you need to do spiritually. That is healthy you know healthy uh, uh, types of um, cleansing if you will um, and get this stuff out of your house okay now when I say healthy um, I'm referring to the dysfunction um, or I'm actually talking about um, binding the dysfunctional things the um, the uh, 
demonic presences, the uh, what you say is angels, when in fact it's been uh, spirits, spirits that are of darkness for a long time, but they pose themselves as light because they've been giving you a little bit of truth. The Lord says that you need to start thanking him, thanking him, praising him for what he's about to do in you. Thanking him, thanking him, thanking him, thanking him. But you cannot fully praise him with the energy that's currently um, going through your home. And for those young people who have some things, some books passed on by, you know, uh, grandmothers that were witches um, or still are witches, you need to get rid of those things because... What they don't realize is they're not even giving you a fair start at life. They're already putting burdens on you very early. So it is your job at this point to receive the word and to do away with these things. And when she asks you, are you doing your prayers? Are you saying your chants? You can say in Jesus name. And that will shake her up because she will feel like you um, have betrayed her and you've betrayed um, generations of, um, you know, generations of uh, people who have been involved in witchcraft in your family, but you have not betrayed anyone. Instead, you have realized the truth for yourself. And as you learn more about the uh, negative spiritual effects of witchcraft, you will um, find out why she, this grandmother, this aunt, um, some of you all why uh, she could just never get ahead look at her life and we're not talking about money and material things we're talking about just you know spiritually peace of mind being a blessing and not a curse to people um, some people are unstable mentally and you know that something's off about them well if you spend enough time praying to demonic beings you will be off you will be unstable and eventually you will not keep a man or a woman around you because of all of the, the witchcraft. And also the guilt, because sometimes people feel guilty after they cast spells on people. They feel very guilty. Mm -hmm. No, you no, no, no. Some people... Some people, they get upset about the messages that I give, but no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Don't, 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 don't insult or try to assault God's messenger. I'd hate to hear about some negative things happening to some people as a result. So do not insult or assault God's messenger. Put the blood covering of Jesus over every single audio. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you once again for my listeners. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. And I pray that those of you all will be free from superstition and uh, you will walk with the Lord. Thank you so much for taking time out to listen to this message and be free in Christ.